Welcome. Hi. Welcome to my pancake glare. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Anna. <laughs> uh, welcome to Break an Egg. Today, we're going to make some freaking pancakes. We're going to make some whole grain, brown butter, overnight pancakes. So the trick to this recipe is that you can make the batter the night before and then just be plopping them in pans and serving them hot, you know, right when you get up. No weighing, measuring before you've had coffee, none of that. Yeah, so let's get started. Brown butter isn't necessary in a, in a pancake recipe at all, definitely not, but I thought it would be nice. There's some whole grains in here, some whole wheat, so I thought brown butter would be good with whole wheat flour. We've got a stick of butter. We're gonna slowly brown it over medium heat and that'll take a few minutes. So we're just gonna let that happen. Keep your ear out and your nose out for getting too brown. Um, Caesar. Just frying some chicken. Just frying some chicken over here. <laughs> when you're finished frying your chicken, you'll come over and you'll yeah. help me. Yes. It smells good. Thanks. I would call that golden brown delicious. Yeah. Okay. With any pancake recipe, you get your wet, you get your dry, you mix them together. I'm going to use weights. Weights are a great way to weigh things. <clears throat> weights are a great thing when you're measuring because if you say don't have like a cornmeal or you don't have a whole wheat flour, you can sub in other things using weights. Don't sub it in using cup measures. It won't be the same thing. We are going to start with some whole wheat flour. I'm going to make you separate the eggs when you get over here. It's one cup or 100 grams. Whites could just go in there. Yolks in here. Cool. Next piece of dry is cornmeal, which I think adds like a nice little flavor. This guy has a lot to say. All right. 75 or half cup. When you brown your butter, you, you know, you want to watch it. Don't, don't not babysit it, but it just needs a little stir every now and then. And this is a stir. <laughs> in my book. All-purpose flour. How'd I do, boss? You did a really great job. Thank you so much. How about two cups of buttermilk in here? Ooh. Um, what's your What's your pancake uh, preference? What's your, who's your pancake chain you like? Tell me about your, what's your pancake history? Hot take? Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a huge pancake guy. Yeah, I'm not either. You're about to convert me. I, I mean, know. you know, of, of course I'll, who doesn't like it? It's fine. Like a pancake for the table. Exactly. And then you have one bite. Oh, you know what? Uh, Shame and Taunt in uh -huh. Greenpoint. Yeah. I think they're about to close. Have Why? you had their pancake? Closed. They closed? Yeah. Why are they closing? Oh. Uh, but everyone likes They them. had an incredible pancake. I was, yeah, I'm really bummed about them closing. And they had like a, a pork head, like a pig head terrine. It was this a pancake? Yeah. Well, the pancake was the dessert too. The terrine? To the terrine. What a bunch of freaks, I love that. Yep. Here's some very brown butter. Some might say too brown. Uh oh, the butter police are gonna come. It's okay. So I'm gonna pour this brown, very brown butter into here so it cools off a little bit. It's dark, it's too dark. Should we do that again? Let's do that again. Okay, so that cornmeal's gonna give some crunch, huh? I think so. And that whole wheat flour's gonna give some nuttiness? Sure, sure is. I feel like the APF is kind of like the chaperone in these sorts right. of situations. Like you can't get too wild. I think my mic is much better. Testing, testing. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR buttermilk. Let's get this disgraced brown butter out of here. She's hot. She's hot. She's hot. She's hot. We got to add our leavening to here. So it gets a little, a little puff. These are not like the puffiest, fluffiest pancakes of all time because they do sit overnight. So not, not, a, not a Japanese pancake. Absolutely not. That, I, I mean. I do like those. Though. I've never had them. Oh, those are really good. Never had them. Yeah, could you watch that so I don't yeah. mess that up? All right, so in here we have our AP, our cornmeal, our whole wheat flour. We have baking soda, baking powder, Almost forgot the salt, which is really important. Did you grab me the salt right there? Yes, chef. Is there enough? <laughs> yes, chef. I'll kill you. Oh my 
Thank you. Thank you, Chef. We're gonna whisk it all together. We can get rid of this scale because we don't need her. She looks mad tender. She's mad tender. Actually, maybe it's just super tender from the yogurt. Nope. <laughs> Two native New Yorkers with ADD tried a brown butter. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I forgot about it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do a crazy thing, which is I'm gonna pour this into a bowl to cool off, but I didn't have one ready. And if you're feeling really precious about these little bits that are in here, you can add a little bit of water. It'll foam, it'll foam, it'll steam, it'll bubble, but you can use like a little wooden spoon to kind of like scrape up all the bits because that is where the super delicious, the essence of brown butter is, is in those like caramelized little Milk things. solids. Milk solids, thank you. We're okay, <laughs> we're gonna be okay. We gotta let that cool a little bit in with our buttermilk and eggs. So we don't want it to be super hot because otherwise it will cook the eggs. Oh, one thing that I actually did when I was making this last time is I added a little vanilla extract. So I think we could add that into the brown butter. So it's just a teaspoon. Um, there's like that much left in there. I'm just, it's going in. There's nothing worse than going into the pantry and being like, oh, I have my vanilla extract. And I mean, then I don't someone has left like oh, that, that much. I so. also don't believe in measuring vanilla too preciously. Yeah, except for, yeah, except for when I have to buy it. <laughs> We're gonna do buttermilk into here. Do you want to start to preheat that pan for me? Yep, sure do. Two cups. All right, we're gonna break up our yolks a little bit. They're gonna go in here now. What does that do? Breaking them up first. Yeah. Uh, it's just like an insurance policy. It helps me sleep at night that I know that they have been broken up. No, why do we separate the eggs? <laughs> Great question, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> One of the steps is, you'll see, after you add your wet to your dry here, and you set this aside to sit overnight, this is the only thing you have to add in the morning and it kind of like loosens it up and adds a little lightness, shall we say, to an otherwise. So it would be too dense if you. The thing is, I don't know if it would be too dense. I didn't try it otherwise. I, this is a technique from a recipe on our site that I really like called the lofty buttermilk pancake. Dana Velden, who is the person who is the author of that recipe on our site, has you do this and it works for her. So I thought, why wouldn't it work for us right now? Right it's here, right now. good enough for her, it's good enough for me. Exactly, good enough for Dana, good enough for Anna and Caesar. I don't think you have to be super precious like you generally are with a pancake batter where you're, they're like, don't over mix, cause this gets a rest overnight. Any like unwanted uh, gluten development in your stirring, I feel like it's gonna sit and it's gonna rest. We want some oil for that pan as opposed to butter. That's my personal preference. Okay, you really, you want an oil? Okay. Was that too much? I was like, yeah. I'm frying. I think, <laughs> Way I too think much. so. <laughs> Try again. Okay, I'll, so like- I'll put it with the burnt butter. <laughs> <laughs> the corner of shame. I forgot to add the sugar to this one. It's just two tablespoons. Good golly me, almighty. All right, so like I've said, this batter will sit, go sit overnight. And these egg whites, I'm actually going to add to our rested batter, which you could grab into that silver Ooh, bowl. So we have a swap. Yeah, dude. Imagine. No, we're not sitting here overnight. Oh yeah, thickened up. Yeah, totally different texture. I'm gonna give these a little whisk just to see some bubbles. We're not looking for peaks. This is, just kind of separating them and giving them a little bit of air. We're not gonna like do peaks. It's also kind of like the insurance policy in my mind where the yolks have already been beaten. And so I know that they are like somewhat aerated. I think the point of adding them after the batter has set overnight is to kind of like lighten the, the overall texture before you start cooking them. Do you make pancakes at home? No, probably not. Cause you don't really care about pancakes. I mean. 
when I do, they're stunning. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Butter and maple syrup, purest. Purest. I like a jam. I like a maple syrup. I'm. I like a jam for a crepe. Or for the. The, the yeah. souffle ones. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry I didn't make those for you today. That's okay. Maybe Are next you gonna time. get over it? <laughs> I'm gonna hold a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cancer. I'm never gonna forget this. <laughs> I think we're hot enough. I don't know. I mean, we'll yeah, I see smoke. Yeah. I think. I think we're hot. Uh, another thing that I like to do is have my oven at like 300 with a sheet tray and a cooling rack inside of it. I have one of those behind you. If you want to pop that into the oven and then as we oh. make these pancakes, you can kind of shuttle them into there. All right, so now we just wait. Oh. I think this first one is going to be a real mutant. Okay, I'm going to do a little flip. She's probably going to be a mess. Yeah. I think the key to like a successful pancake execution is also kind of having your like station set up in a particular way. So making sure you like have oil nearby and your flipper nearby and your oven already preheated. Those are all really helpful to make your life a lot easier. I love how light this pan is. I wish he was a little wider so I could make more than one pancake at a time. You know, I do love a blueberry pancake. Okay. Not very fun, but. I like a blueberry pancake. And a banana, Pretty I like a banana pancake. Do you, ever, do you ever mess with IHOP? Sure. I went one time as a kid and I got sat in the smoking section. That's my uh, experience with IHOP. Back when New York was New York. <laughs> yeah, when you could smoke in the pancake <laughs> restaurant. Okay, um, flip in this guy. Hiya! Ooh. And we're back. Beautiful. These also get a little bit darker, a little quicker than a normal pancake because there's a little added sugar in there. She's beautiful. Um, when you have little bubbles around the edges, that's when it's kind of good to start to think about flipping your pancake. When the surface kind of like domes and starts to look a little bit dry, that's another good clue for pancake flippage. Did you see my first pancake? That kid, oh is, that oh. kid is screwed. Oh my God. You're not gonna make the IHOP show but it's your first it's pink. my first I, you know i'm happy with like i think that looks delicious that texture is delicious the level of respect i have for brunch line cooks amen that has to be Sister. the hardest service how because you, you have eggs you have pancakes you have yeah. like there's so much and you just have timing people <sighs> who just want who are hungover Worst part. who want to eat things and they're like kind of at their worst I'm gonna try your technique. All right. What's my technique, a spoon? A spoon. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I feel like yours looked a little bit more delicious. Though. I've learned your tricks throughout the years. <laughs> I think that looks mm -hmm. good. That looks delicious. That looks dank. You want one or two? Just one. Maybe I'll have another one with the fried chicken. Yeah. Butter? Hell yeah. Beautiful. Syrup you? You get the gold fork and knife. Thank you. Thank you for being my guest, making pancakes with me. Oh my God, my pleasure. I'm gonna do butter and then jam. Have you ever eaten on a stove before? Yeah, all the time. Have you ever lived in a New York City <laughs> apartment? That's very nice. How does, is she doing it for you? Yeah, cause it's not like, it's not cakey. Mm -hmm. Like it's crispy. Mm. It's tender. This is what I want a pancake to be. Maybe this is the pancake haters pancake. I think this is the pancake <laughs> haters pancake, for real. This has texture. Mm -hmm. It's not just like a cakey mess. Like it has, com it's complex. Yes, Caesar. Like nutty. She is nutty. And I feel like the cornmeal gives it a little crunch. Yeah. Like inside. Yeah, and you could maybe like go do something after you ate these. Yeah. You love them? I love it. I love making you pancakes. Thanks You're for great. joining me and making pancakes. Thanks for making some pancakes with me. My pleasure. All right, thank you for watching Break an Egg. Make these brown butter overnight whole grain pancakes. 
got to think of a better title. It's a little shorter. You can find this recipe on food52.com. Please like, please comment nicely, and subscribe if you want to see more break and egg breakfast videos. <laughs>